everybody dreams of a bright future and looks forward to things improving as they move through their lives. But they also have fond memories of the past and the things that made their hometowns unique and special. With new development and the growth of chain stores, however, cities are losing much of their uniqueness and they often look as though they were stamped out by cookie cutters, each looking much like many others. People retain pleasant memories of what was special to them, such as their families, a pet, or mom's homemade birthday cake. East Lansing's downtown, as it was as recently as the 1980s, still holds a special place in the memories of many who lived there or went to college there. They could watch movies at the state or campus theater, hear jazz as they shopped along Grand River Avenue, or smell the enticing odors emanating from Bell's Greek Pizza. But new development took away much of what made the downtown so special. That was it, our hometown, East Lansing. It marked the beginning of the end. My name is Terry Parks, um, also known as East Lansing's Neighborhood Barber, and I own Bohemian Barber at 223 MAC for 12 and a half years. And um, as a local native, I grew up in the area, so it was really fun to do people's hair and become more of a part of the community. I've watched the city grow and grow up uh, from the perspective of an elementary school student, uh, a high school student, a college student and then to go on as a business person and, uh, and resident of, of the city. I was born like six blocks from here. I lived on Butterfield Drive from you know, 1948 till about 1971. My family moved to the city of East Lansing in 1955. When I grew up, we had two movie theaters. You had you know, your more traditional downtown and more, more traditional retail uh, district, if you will. It is a city that has had a lot of changes since I was in high school. We had many more clothing stores for men, women, downtown. That has also not existed anymore. The downtown area used to have a lot more individual, unique stores and boutiques um, run by individual business people, not the big companies that you see now. Now there's there's um, more corporate businesses in the area and it has taken away the unique artsy kind of small community feel in the shopping district. East Lansing originally was was mostly made up of you know owner operated stores, uh, locally owned stores and a lot of people that lived in the area ran these businesses. It looked a lot different than this that's for sure. This whole block which is now overshadowed by this ginormous development. Um, it used to have a lot of personality. There was a lot of different shaped buildings, different types of businesses. It had more of a, what I would consider a, a friendlier, you know, hometown atmosphere as opposed to what it is now. The Downtown Development Authority made the decision and sent five of us to a seminar on urban revitalization, if you will. And we came away from that and decided to hire a firm out of the East Coast called Hyatt Palma to do a study of our downtown. And the study of our downtown said, you really need to look at uh, a, a bigger, more complex, more integrated development project. Somewhere around 2002, I think we opened the uh, city center project, which was expanded from the original building on the corner of MAC and Albert to run all the way south and pick up on the corner of Grand River and Albert, and we created that um, that whole city center one project. Could you talk a bit about how the uh, city center project affected your business? Yes. Um, for two years, half of MAC was part of the construction zone. I got to watch the old building get torn down and look at that every day from the window, which was not pretty. And then we lost a lot of walk-in business from that, and I wouldn't have admitted it at the time, trying to be a positive business merchant, um, but it, it really hurt a lot. It hurt everyone on this side of the street a great deal, almost to the point where you know, that was the beginning of 
the end of some of the smaller businesses. I'm just one of them on the street that's no longer here since this was built.